Hello and welcome everybody. Uh, today I want to make a short video of how to do one of these kind of things here. A wildlife overpass over a sort of busy highway in city skylines. Using a few different mods, but we'll get to that. Um, you could make something very similar to this with very basic tools. So I want to try to build one from scratch on a different part of this map and uh, I'll go through all the steps, so let's go, basically. I have chosen a location on the complete other side of the map. Oh, here it is. See, we have a forest separated by highway. I would like there to be a way for wildlife to cross over here. And the way I would start to build this is I would go into the roads menu and select the two-way highway and drag out the bridge across the gap or across the highway basically. Um, we can use the move it mod to adjust the height but we could also just place it at the correct height from the start so you could do this on console for example. Um, And then we drag out these um, sort of road, ground level road stumps on each side. Which is a uh, funny fact, a, a trick I discovered while preparing to make this short video. So, um, you guys have already taught me something new. <laughs> now, um, we have a bridge over. It's a road bridge. And you think like, oh, but animals won't use this. And I get that, that's fine. They wouldn't. And here comes the sort of uh, the, the, the mods start coming in, right? Uh, one way we could do to make this bridge a fauna passage or like a wildlife passage is to use the IMT mod and paint the whole thing in a grass texture in the simplest way. We can make a grass filler here, lower it down to just above the height of the road and extend these points. I'm holding down control and selecting these points to move them out. You can also see this offset number changing. Sort of like that. And we can also select the um, copy here on this marking and copy it out to these road stumps on the end or we can use the apply to whole street tool here or I thought we could apparently it doesn't work okay we can copy and paste it to these ones here you see there's an ugly gap here we could fix that this is a node but I would prefer to make use node controller mod to make this a nodeless uh, connection instead we could use just IMT if we wanted to, but I prefer Node Controller. And this works with the new version of Node Controller as well, even though I like using the old one. So, this is unfortunately not possible on console. I'm sorry for uh, giving you, getting your hopes up, but there might be some other tricks that uh, we, we will come to later that could be uh, uh, applicable to console. Uh, could make something similar. Uh, can drag out this a little bit with Move It. Um, and also I should say, I used node control here to reduce the direction length and that re uh, reduces the sort of the node, how much it stretches out. I'm holding down control, you see the both numbers turn green at the same time and I scroll down to get uh, both to be zero. You can just manually insert the numbers as well. So direction length zero is a good way to make a very uh, sort of sudden stop. We can paint some, uh, re remove some of the textures here, I suppose. Now we have a grass bridge. It's the most basic uh, sort of version of this bridge, um, this wildlife passage. But most of the time we see these are a bit wider. So we would want to make it a little bit wider. And we can do that with. Once again, the node controller mod, selecting these nodes and stretching them out. 
like something like this. Um, now we also noticed that the, the IMT markings didn't follow, so we will have to extend these out. We can do it the same way, or we can set, insert, insert the numbers manually as well. Come on, select the right one, okay. And I can copy this one again, Control shift c I like to press the button though, I don't know. I just prefer to do that. <laughs> and you can press Control shift v Now we have a wider bridge, it looks better. A problem with the wider bridge is... Um, let's be nerdy and think about the structural integri integrity here. This is a big bridge containing a lot of earth and dirt. Uh, it wouldn't... It would need extra pillars, right? So to do that we could just go find some pillars on the map. Like I have some pillars over here in this interchange here. Don't look at this one, it's ugly. So I'll just move, use move it to copy it, but you can place them manually from scratch as well. You could also make this... Um, let's, let's say you could make this in a different way as well and... Um, and use the pillars from the road. So if we widened the, for example, the highway underneath, and this is how you would do it on console, um, except you would drag out the road, but I, I'm too lazy, so I'll just add a node in the middle, and then you get a pillar for free. <laughs> a pillar for free. Pillar for everybody. Now, of course, we need to fix this again and we need to remove the lights on the the bridge. I'm using network skins for that. It's a tiny detail, like you don't really need to bother about that, but I like to keep things neat. And we're changing this back to the, the way it was. Um, and we can copy and paste the same things again. Okay. So now we have at least one pillar here. Um, realistically, I would probably put a lot more, <laughs> like I would make a mm, big foundation of like something like this. Maybe even use some keys to create the illusion of a thicker pillar. And probably I would organize them better, like not just spam them, but you know what, it's fine. We're making a short, we're making just a short uh, introduction to these kind of things. So I can't be bothered making it too nice, you know? You get the idea, that's that's what I'm saying. So, now we have a grass bridge, we have pillars. Uh, one of the problems I've noticed when you zoom out, this is a setting thing in IMT though, but if you zoom out far enough, it disappears. It's a little bit annoying, um, if you want to look at your map from far out a lot. You could uh, figure out to change those settings, or you could actually um, maybe use another trick here. Go and find the nature reserve path and drag this one out. This is one of my favorite paths to use for terraforming networks, let's say. Uh, it is available if you have the Park Life DLC, I should say. And uh, we'll place it like something like that. Uh, we'll drag it out all the way across. I'm holding down Alt and it will snap, actually snap to the nodes already, the road nodes already existing. So that's a very useful trick. Uh, and I will try to select these with a node controller now and make them thicker. We'll just raise them up temporarily so that we can select them and I think a 400 seems to be a good number. Don't be discouraged by the stretch uh, slider only going to 200. You can make these as thick as you want, like literally cover the whole map with one, one network. Um, it will glitch out. Don't don't try it <laughs> if, you, if you can avoid it. It happens by accident quite a lot for me, but um, you can make it bigger. Don't be discouraged by the slider only going to 200. <laughs> And now you can see when we zoom out, it actually shows that um, sort of LOD instead, which looks better. Um, 
think we can make it a little bit smaller. Like I'm using, I'm sel I've selected both these nodes and I'm using the minus key to sort of drag them into the middle and we can lower it down a bit more. See here it will cause C fighting when we zoom out. So one step up, page up and page down. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, an extra thing we could do here is we could use surface painter to basically just remove the the gravel from it, make it look more grassy. Uh, that does require you to have a map theme that uses the, the, the ruined, uh, but has a very grass-like ruined texture, I should say. Which is a good tip, uh, something you should uh, uh, consider anyway, so but it's a pretty good thing. It does change the, the texture below as well, but we can live with that, that's fine. Um, Oh, now that we created this ground level path over here, we will get some clipping here, so we can just copy some more pillars and hide like that. Yeah, I'm sorry I might have said this is possible on console. There's a lot of mods obviously we're using, but some of the techniques, like you could you could probably figure out a pretty good way to do this just on console also. Um, now we have something looking pretty good. Like, the final details I would add to this uh, would be trees and bus bushes, honestly. And we could do this with actual trees or bushes, but since I don't have the tree snapping uh, mod, I use uh, prop versions of the trees instead, um, which I get from the tree and vehicle props mod. Um, you can see here we are. But if you use tree snapping, you can just place trees here, anywhere you want. Um, a note of what trees to place here. Remember that these structures are relatively modern and new. Uh, there's not a lot of these that are very old. So while we would plant trees and like sort of um, bushes and stuff like that to make it feel more natural for the animals to want to cross, uh, they would often be not very big. They would be relatively small fixing this a little bit they would still be a sort of young trees or young bushes so I tend to prefer to put the smaller oh, the smaller types of uh, uh, vegetation I guess can we see this one is a good one the street tree the new street tree that uh, came with a free DLC or a free update I should say with the airports DLC so we place a few of those can place uh, a few of these guys maybe just using move it instead so, since it keeps the height um, and I don't have to worry about the snapping in, in the same way I think prop snapping might be required for this but it's such an old mod I'm not even sure if when I use it and when I don't anymore uh, Let's see here. Are we do we don't we have any more bushes? I think we could add some more bushes. Uh, regardless, we could add some of these also. We could add some of these uh, vegetation pieces to sort of hide the transition. And then we have a, um, the terrain conforming and the non-terrain conforming ones. It doesn't really matter which ones we use. Whatever you have. whatever you can use this uh, the terrain conforming ones the default ones don't really want to be placed there but we mostly want to use these to hide the transition I think in my opinion so that's fine and there we have it guys we have a wildlife passage non-functional but you know what it works it looks good so, if you liked this tutorial, um, uh, make sure to uh, to follow and uh, subscribe and all that stuff. Um, I also stream these things quite often on Twitch, so you should check that out if you're interested to see more of this stuff going on live and ask questions live as well. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys!